Hi everybody, I'm Lorenzo from LorenzoCapicard.com and today I want to show you how to use plane effector in a Cinema 4D. First of all, let's create a new sphere. Then set radius for example 104. Then set segments for example by 30. If would you like, we can change the type for example Ecosahedron. So now let's go to the mocker menu and let's create a new polyfex. Select polyfex and drag and drop into the sphere. Then let's go to the mocker menu again and let's create a new cloner. Uh, set the sphere and make as a child of the cloner. Then let's go to the cloner menu and set count by one. And if you like, we can change py for example by zero. So now, now select si simulate menu, set cold, for example, cold knobs. Select cloner and drag and drop into the cold knobs. Then select thickness by two and subdivision, subdivision by zero. Okay, now let's go to the mocker menu again and uh, let's create uh, a plane effector. Okay, now let's select the plane and let's go to the parameter tab. Then select py by 0 and pz by negative 22. Check on scale check on uniform scale and check on absolute scale and uh, select scale by negative one. So then check on rotation. And select uh, RH for example 90 degrees and RP for example 165. And then let's go to the file of tab, select shape for example, sphere. Okay, now if you like, we can uh, increase the size of the sphere. So now uh, we can copy this uh, object and now we can change the size of the external sphere. Let's 
then change the size of the inner sphere Ok now, let's create a new material, check off color and <coughs> check on luminance and check on transparency. So then let's go to the texture and select layer, set shader for example Fresnel select gradient, gradient by color for example red and like, uh, like yellow or orange for example then let's go to the shader again and let's create a new personnel and select color black and white check on additive then check on reflection and check on additive again okay now select this color and select this color on the second second object then let's create a new material and select color like light blue, <coughs> check on reflection, let's go to the texture for snell and select gradient like grey and white select strength by 55 and break brightness for example 15 or make strength by 30% so now we can use this color for the first object then select play in effector and ok now let's go to the timeline seconds and select 15 seconds set frame and add a new frames so now select 
for example, five, five seconds, drag the plane effector and then add the new frame again and select then select 10 seconds and drag again the plane effector and add new frame again and 15 seconds select <coughs> drag the plane effector and add new frames Okay, now let's create a new light. Select, for example, area light. Set intensity, for example, one hundred and fifteen percent. Shadow, for example, shadow maps. Okay, now let's create a new material for the background. Select color, select Fresnel or gradient, and select the gradient, for example, to this circular. <coughs> the first color, second color, like uh, gray, dark gray, and the first color, for example, like blue. or dark dark blue then let's cre let's create a new background and select the color for the background Okay, now let's go to the render settings. Select Optute, for example, film video and HDTV. Then a frame range or frames. And let's go to the effect menu. Let's go to the effect menu and add. <coughs> Add global illumination, select diffuse depth by two and select low settings, low again, 